Hi, welcome, 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 welcome. Let's do my little fishies. Let's do my raw love. Okay. Let's do my little Pisces. Cassie is all about being in the in the uh, videos lately. I'm a little test class. Mm -hmm. This is a mama. So, let's do my little my little fishies. My little fishies. What was that? That looks really weird. Ah, I'm always surprised, but that's not why I saw the weirdness. Oh, here it is. What is that? Ah, it was the edge of the ear. It was the edge of the devil. Anywho. Anywho. We don't we don't want to see that. And another one. And another one. What the freaking sticks is going on? What's going on? Hmm. Alright. Fixed. The have a my first popped out. I don't know. What are we non-committal? What are we in what are we non-committal? What the friggle sticks is going on here? This was not like that a second ago. I don't know what that's all about. Let's see if that happens again. Some magic going on up in here. Some magic. All right. So this could be for my fishies. I am doing a very intuitive read this week. Channels, messages, that type of thing. I'm working with a deck that um. Hey, how about you leave Max alone? I'm working with a deck that doesn't have images except for the, ma the major arcana. Okay. Um, why? Why are you trying to tell him what he can't? Why are you trying to tell him what he can't sit right now? Okay. Apparently, my dog thinks she's got control of the living room right now. You know. Anywho, what's going on with my Pisces? What? Those don't want to go in. So we got the five of wands reversed with the six of cups and the moon. Okay. It, it, somebody wants to come out of conflict when it comes to their past, but they don't want to admit secrets. They don't, they don't want to talk about something. Okay. Um, yeah. Wanting to come out of conflict, but to me, this is like, there's either still secrets involved or, you know, this person, tell me about the moon. Or you guys are having a hard time with moon energy right now. Tell me about the moon. To me, this is, if I move forward, I got to spill the beans. All right, with the Ten of Cups reverse. See, yeah, see, there's something. There's something here. There, it's like the news is going to be unhappy, okay? Um whether you're dishing it out or receiving it, um, somebody's not going to like the news. And I think with this Six of Cups, and I don't see it, but I, I think there's guilt here. Tell me about the Six of Cups because, like I said, you're either about to dish it or receive it. So tell me about the Six of Cups. And that fell out. It's the lovers. All right. So this is a bond. Something happened around the full time of the full moon with the Knight of Cups wanting to come in, but with the Knight of Swords reversed, all right, not wanting to quite open Pandora's box yet, not wanting to spill the beans, definitely watching, um, checking on how this person's doing, what direction they're going in, I think, before they make their move. See, there's something up here. I don't know what this is all about with the lovers. A another moon one, Okay. To me, this is the universe saying, use your intuition when it comes to this person, if you're a cross-watcher, or this is vice versa, because whatever, you, whatever you're going to hear, you're not going to like it. And I feel like this person wants to come in and charm you, but they're waiting for the right moment. They're waiting, they're waiting on the right moment. Um, this King of Cups, to me, is arrogant, and I, I can feel it, all right, because I, I, I can feel the guilt. Yeah, see, the Magician with the Seven of Wands, they're blocked, too, like they're guarded. Um, this magician though, right now, to me, it's not tricky. It looks like my cat. Castle. Look at Hello. Um, so I don't know if this is the other person that's got it. Because I don't feel trickiness with that magician. Tell me about the magician. I do feel it's the sun. See, now, this is... 
this is the other person. We got two straight up energies on my board right now. I, that doesn't happen that often. I don't know what that's all about. You're dealing with somebody who's very guarded, okay? And but there's there's been a lot of growth. To me, it's like, do you think this person's tricky? Because if you do, they're the universe is telling you they are most definitely not. And you're watching. This is this is the person you're watching. My Pisces are watching somebody right now, okay? They're watching somebody move in a certain direction. And you guys are wondering if they're guided. They most definitely are, all right? Because we got the lover right here, strong connect, okay? Um, this magician is not tricky. This magician is the sun. This magician is very intuitive, um, is growing, yeah, guided, but not tricky. I wonder, I wonder if my, if my, uh, Pisces, look at that, you're right in your element too. I was just going to say, I was trying to think where, uh, for me, sorry. It's not about me, Court, it's not about me. <laughs> I was trying to figure out if somebody I'm thinking about has strong Pisces, but I don't, I don't think so. I, and I only say that because, hey. I only say that because of my cat it looks just like this, all right? And somebody thinks that this person's tricky, but they're not They're not tricky. They're, they're the sun. They're growing. They're probably in the spotlight, all right? Um, but this, you, my Pisces, are watching somebody. This is you. Um, and what, you're either overindulging of what you have to tell this person. This person is not going to like. It's going to cause disappointment all right tell me about this ton of cups this is disappointment all right the ace of cups reverse see yeah this is this is disappointment it, it was i don't know what that's trying to tell me because normally i read that as no self-love and so maybe this person you guys my pisces are struggling a little bit um You know something. My Pisces know something, and they're not, they're not dishing it out right now. I don't know what that's all about. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Look, okay, saddest day in my life. You left me with a broken hat. There's got to be guilt here. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Reverse. So you, you put no effort into this. You, This is telling me either you're in something right now and you're putting absolutely no effort into it. You're not happy. There's there's no self-love. My Pisces have no self-love right now. And you're being a little arrogant when it comes to something. And if this isn't you, it's the other person. It's not the other person. I'm telling you. Unless it's vice versa and my Pisces is this particular pile. But I don't think so. Because I'm not a Pisces and instantly I went to, I went to me, which is weird. Okay, and I know it's not about me, but that's what I'm saying. I would be a cross watcher if this was me, so I'm not the Pisces. So it could just be Pisces. This could be Pisces energy right now because you got Pisces on the board with the moon card, okay? Um, but sometimes Pisces to me can be Cancer too. The moon can be Cancer too, and the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups to me is Cancer. So you see what I'm saying? So I don't know if my Pisces are dealing with a Cancer right now. Um, a Leo, is it between a Leo and a magician? Because the magician could be spiritual. The sun can be a Leo. Nah, I'm not reading it that way. No, they're telling me this is this is the cross watcher. This is not my Pisces. Okay, my Pisces thinks somebody is tricky. I don't know. Maybe you think somebody is using magic on you. But with the sun here, that's not that's not magic. All right, tell me about this little pile right here. Tell me about the sun. Tell me about the magician, the seven of wands. This isn't magic. And my Pisces think somebody's doing magic on them right now. That's weird because I haven't had this type of read yet. I've been seeing a lot of magic, and I don't even see magic being done in this particular one. All right, so it's the five of cups. So this isn't, no, this is... This is sorrow. Like, this is the coming out of it, though. It was reversed, all right? So my Pisces hurt this particular person. 
but they're not they're not dwelling on it no more either okay your past is not dwelling on you um sorry um but i think you know that and you're trying to figure it out because you're watching you're watching this lover. You're watching this past. I mean, the lovers with the Six of Cups, this is a twin connection for sure. There's, there's no question. This is a, you've had multiple lives. I, there, there's no freaking question here. Okay? And I just got the goosebumps. So, my Pisces want to come out of conflict with somebody. They're not being tricky for those who want to know. Um, my cross watches could even feel some guilt. <clears throat> But to me, I feel like it's my Pisces. Tell me about this King of Cups. I mean, Knight of Cups. This is you watching. You're waiting for the right moment. Um, I kind of feel like you're being a little sneaky, all right? You got the Ace of Wands reversed, but that's what I'm saying. I kind of feel like you're being a little sneaky, too. Look at you guys are twins. These are the two cats. That, my cat looks like that cat, too, except you guys have two different color eyes. One's green, one's like a little yellow. You guys are twins. Twinsies all day. All right, look at you. You're both magical. You're, you're both spiritual. What is that bullshit? All right, so that that's the problem. You, you, you think this person's using magic on you and they're not. And I think you were doing some tricky shit too. And you're not taking action yet. You're still watching and not taking action. But you want that new start. But <coughs> thank you. You're trying to, to figure it out. All right, so I kind of feel arrogant here, and I'm not seeing it, though, which is very bizarre. So, I, but you wouldn't, with the, with the Knight of Cups right here, with the, the Page of Swords reversed, you watching this other person, and this is my Pisces, okay, unless it's the other way around, but I'm telling you, you're waiting for the right moment to come in, try to balance out the scales and work with this person. So you're up to something. It's a very strong connection. The two of you, you could be dealing with another water sign. And the two of you are super intuitive and spiritual. And if you don't know your other half is spiritual, no, you do. But you think it's more of like a, um, you think it's more like a, a witchcraft. Like a, um, I can picture, you know, what's effing crazy? What is with this Spanish today? I'm thinking, uh, like you're calling this person like a bruja. You know what I mean? Like. Which is just witch in Spanish, but I, I can, you know, with the ten of pence, all right? So it's like, you're waiting to flip every damn card upright. I don't, and it's a secret right now. They're not even letting me expose this. <laughs> I don't know what this is all about, ladies and gents. I'm going to see if I can pull you another read with a different card, but this is what this is. Somebody, my Pisces thinks somebody's doing some tricky shit and they're not, but you're just as tricky if with them if you think that but to me it's, it's not to me it's this is a very strong twin connection with the six of cups and the lovers there's no question okay with the ace of cups and nah, all right so i'm telling you like the two of you the two of you are up to something but it's not magic it's spiritual that's for damn sure and the person you're watching is growing and they're not worried about they're guided, yeah, but they're not worried about whatever happened in the past. So what are you guys up to? You're up to something. They're not telling me, but you're up to something. Tell me about this, lovers. There's no clear as day you're up to something. This is so clear cut. I, there's not, I don't even got to read into this anymore. All right, the queen of pens. This is somebody you want to be with. This is, this is a twin. Look at the two of you together. This is somebody who can nurture the shit out of you, too. All right, this is your lover, the Queen of Pence, so possibly an earth sign, which is telling me that this person is very lovable. This person is the magician. This person is very spiritual. This person is growing. This person is the Queen of Pence. This person's got money or in the spotlight, too, for damn sure, okay? There's no question and knows how to nurture things, all right? So it's actually beautiful, but I can hear you calling this person a witch. I can hear you calling this person like a bruja. So that's, a, that's for somebody who's Spanish that is doing that right now. But you're just, don't forget, you're just as spiritual as this person, whether you believe so or not. That's bizarre. All right, so I'm going to try to pull with a different deck. Well, I'm not going to try to. I am. Okay. 
they're not going to let me dig into that, so I'm not even going to bother. All right. Um, I don't know that if that night that night is waiting to come in and watch it. Um, I didn't see action being taken. I don't know if you're worried this person's doing magic, if you're worried this person doesn't want a new start, if you're trying to think about how how to come in at this person, if you're already talking to this person. Um, Pisces, what else are we looking at? <clears throat> that... Wow, it's so strong. I, I seriously I can hear you calling this person this. All right, you got the seven of pence reverse. So you're wondering if this is ever going to come into fruition. All right, you're not even looking at things that were invested. All right, you were, but you weren't. Someone's being Debbie Downer. All right, we got the king of wands right here. And kind of, you guys obviously are not together, okay? The king of wands does not take action. They're action oriented, or action oriented. They have their own business. They're, they're determined. You know what I mean? Like, they're intuitive too. Um, but to me, sitting next to a lion in this person's face is telling me my Pisces right now are taking on the energy of the King of Wands, but not having much strength to approach whatever it looks like this mama invested in, because it's the mama that invested, okay? Um, but take this energy how it resonates with you guys, okay? Like, it could be the opposite agenda for you guys. I don't know if it's been like seven months since you've seen this person. Something with a seven right now. I'm feeling it. All right. The high priestess with the seven of pence. This person, see, you're thinking this person's tricky. She's not. She's very spiritual. So she's magical that way. Okay. But this woman's got wings. It's like she's an angel too. All right. And you're thinking about her. But not in the most positive way. Um... To me, it could be saying, too, like, use your damn intuition. Like, you got temperance reversed. So, you're yeah, not healing. Or there's a Sag out of your life. You were dealing with a Sag that's not in your life. But to me, it's like, you, you don't want to, you're not healing. <sighs> with justice, something's not justified. Like, what are you doing, my little Pisces? You got to pull it together right now. See, I knew I felt arrogant. But it's not coming up. So maybe you're coming out of arrogant. Or maybe my Pisces were really arrogant. One-sided. Not open to seeing two different situations type thing. Like your sword's always up. You know what I mean? Like this justice. She's not. She's holding a sword. She's not. She's cutting out bullshit. She's not balancing out no scales. Okay. Um, or somebody cut out a Sag. Or you got strong Sag in your chart. Okay. And... You're worried this person's going to cut you out. You're worried about this other person. I don't know what that's all about. It's not telling me. It's not letting me feed into that. So there's a reason for that. It must be somebody is going to have a conversation or try to step in or knock on someone's door. The four of pence. Somebody's holding on to their feelings right now. All right. And not wanting to share their feelings like that's arrogant you know what I mean like you got feelings but you're hiding them you know what I mean you're holding on tight to something but you're not talking about it anything else for my Pisces it depends reversed again still see not you're holding on tight but you're not working together with this person it's like what are you doing you're holding on tight to this connection, but you're not trying to step in and fix it. Are you waiting? See, this is why I feel arrogance. Are you waiting? Are my Pisces waiting on this person to take action? What are you waiting on? Are you waiting on this person to come to you? Because from what I've seen on my read, I don't see this person hitting you up. All right? Seven of Cups. This is the woman, like, I could see coming out of the sorrow. I, I'm thinking this is her. This is, you know, this is your karma. This isn't, this person's got 
options or you got options. This is not what this is. I think you think this person has options, but I think you think this person's going to come to you because there's such a connection. And that's being naive, all right? That's being arrogant. To me, this woman's like, screw you. I'm getting on my dragon and I'm out. You got a lion, but I got a dragon. You know, like, anything else about this king of wands? You're looking at this person, like, does she have options? Am I good enough? But nah, nah, I feel arrogance. You got feelings for this person, and you're not saying shit. All right? The tower, and you're trying to avoid the tower. So you're trying to avoid going in to see this person. Okay? So there's that. All right? That's weird, because that was straight up my Pisces with my cross watchers, and I normally don't get that type of feel about how you think this person is something trickier up to something. I don't know what that's all about, but my Pisces is, is watching somebody big time. Been watching them. Someone's in denial, like I said. Like, don't be in denial. Go speak the truth. Like, something's going on. It didn't even want me to cut the deck there. See, there's that guilt I felt. Go speak the truth. So... Definitely my Pisces feeling that guilt. I felt it. I don't know why it didn't pop up. So maybe that's how it was. You're not in the guilt anymore. Um, you got a friendship in your life. I understand there's a friend in my life for a reason. And that's part of your lesson right now. And you're kind of like, you're arrogant about it. And then you got failure. I understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn. So you're probably like, yeah, you know what? I feel guilty. Something, some shit probably went down. But your pride's getting in the way. All right, and instead of approaching it and talking to this person, you're just watching this person from afar, you know? That's foolish, all right? And then you got abundance. I am a, lim I am a limitless being and can manifest whatever I desire into physical reality. So if you want this, go manifest it. I don't know if you feel like you can't get this thing back, but the, the universe is saying, I'm telling you, the two of you are very spiritual and intuitive. Um, if you want this back, there's a good chance you can have this back, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how this other person feels. I didn't dig into that. All I know is that you feel that this person's doing magic on you, and this person is most definitely not. Um, anything else for my Pisces? So this person that, yeah, that flew right out, too. Honestly, go be honest with this person. Be honest with yourself. All right, you're thinking of the past, too. I can't always expect truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. All right, I'm going to clarify that, because that's you. That That's clinging to the past. That's somebody hurting somebody and I don't know whether it was a third party in the past just you know friends it, something happened and trust is an issue right now when it comes to this but I don't even think it's this person all right um tell me about honesty what's what's up with the honesty you definitely don't trust this person though or you're not being honest with yourself okay um you can definitely manifest shit so stop manifesting and your lesson right now is to realize that this person that is in your life that clearly is as clear as day, all right? The, the two of pence. So you're deciding right now, look at all these up, so you're deciding whether or not right now to go in and, and speak the truth, all right? Um, five of wands reverse, wanting to come out of that with your six of cups, the three of swords, there's been pain, the empress reverse, so somebody's not putting effort into something, and then you got the wheel of fortune right here with the knight of swords. So I, knight of wands. You you were probably in and out of this person's life or vice versa, all right? No, this is you because this is my Pisces lessons, lessons, and you're trying to figure out whether or not you're going to tell the truth, all right? Stop stop struggling. Don't be indecisive. You're, you're right in the moon energy of the Virgo moon energy with being indecisive. Don't do that. You're going to screw yourself, all right? So I don't know if it helps you to know that the person you're dealing with is not uh, a bruja, a, a witch, okay? Not using witchcraft on you. That's for some. You got message, you got hope, all these things are showing full moons. This, this, this full moon energy did something. I don't know if it's an opposite effect, a good effect, I, I don't know. I think you're working with the negative aspects of the moon right now, maybe. So think about that. Don't be indecisive, to push through. Okay. Best advice for my Pisces right now. Best advice for my Pisces. My fishies, my fishies. All right, denial. You're in denial. You're coming out of the whole self-worth thing, all right? So you're getting a little better when it comes to self-worth, but you're in denial. You're sitting in conflict. It's a five. 
All right. I knew I, I felt it. You're in denial. You're, you're, you're not seeing both sides of the story. Like I said, you're not seeing something. Not everyone, not everything is in reach, my child. Sometimes you must create distance between what you want or when it is you want it. But, but it doesn't mean you're not meant to receive it. Consider the wait for the highest good. You are not meant to achieve what you want right now. Keep the faith, for if you wait and show patience, I will reveal some wondrous things later. This is a gentle warning not to get caught up in your desire to reach your goal too soon. You may choose sour fruit that only looks ripe and juicy. In this case, I alone know when the time is ripe. Patience, my child. So, I don't know if this is for my Pisces or for my cross watcher because... Unless you're just, you're too arrogant and you're not learning your lessons. And they're saying, you can't go in. You won't reach your goal. You won't reach, you know what I mean? But like, I'm not feeling that. But I'm not going to argue with the universe. I want to clarify that. I, tell me about denial. Denial. Tell me about denial. To me, this is conflict and you want to come out of it. Yeah, the king of pens. So no, this is the male energy in denial when it comes to something. So basically, if you were to approach this person, you might come off arrogant or you might push the wrong buttons or this person might think you're backing up the wrong tree. Um, I don't think this person will accept you back right now. I don't know why I feel that, but that is a strong possibility for some. Okay, because it's talking about my male energy that's in denial. All right, with the ten of wands, you need to lay some weight down in order to come in. Like you, you, there's something. Like I said, you're watching this person. You're in denial. You need to snap out of it. Whatever this is, snap out of it. Lay some weight down. I don't know what it is. It didn't really touch base on this subject. But again, you're looking at something. You're not looking at something the right way. You're being negative. Anything else about this denial? The Hierophant reverse. So do you not... It's almost like you don't want... Yeah, see, with the King of Wands, I came up before. With the Magician reverse. So I don't... See, I don't think you're ready. They're, what they're telling this is all male energy. Every damn card that came out is all male energy. So it's my... Um, it's my male energy that's in denial right here. You know, like, you really are non-committal. You are somebody who went in and out, in and out. You probably did some tricky shit, but now all of a sudden you want to be the king of pence, but yet you know you have to lay some weight down. You have to make decisions, and you're not, and you're in denial about something. So they're saying if you go in right now and make this move, this other person might not receive it well, okay? Um, the princess of wands might not receive it well. I don't know why. But you guys would, all right? So I don't need to dig into that. You guys will understand what that's all about, all right? Because um, I think you're just, you, denial, yeah. You think this person is doing some magic shit or some tricky shit with you. All I hear is damn bruja, all right? That's all I hear in my head, bruja, all right? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, all right? I wish you the very best. Hang in there. There's something you're not seeing. And I think I, I stress that to you, though. And I normally don't stress that. And the way it showed me the cards with the cat and me taking the energy as if I was a cross watcher and trying to explain to you that there's no tricky shit there. It's just a connection. When when two people connect like that, it can be scary. And I, I think you would rather look at it as this person's being tricky or manipulative or something like that. So you, you talk yourself out of something that you feel because that connection is strong. Six of cups with the lovers. Hoo wee. Okay. So, but you're in denial. I think you think this person is, is doing tricky shit to you. So for those that are waiting on my Pisces, I'm as cross watchers, I'm telling you right now, they think you're up to no good. They think you're a witch. They think you're doing black magic. Okay. Um, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let them come out of denial. You can't, you can't fix that. All right. And there's nothing you can do if you're a cross watcher in that scenario because this person is Pisces that I'm talking about in particular is, is in denial and is a little arrogant when it comes to this. The male energy seems arrogant and they're in denial, okay? Um, but you guys can take this energy any way it fits with you. But it was, it was so straightforward. 
okay? So clear-cut, straightforward, no bullshit, okay? I love you guys.